Hello there. In this video, I'm gonna be testing out the Rad Expand and see just how far it's gonna go with just the throttle only. So this whole ride's just gonna be with the throttle. As you can see, the battery is all charged up. Got the green light on the charger. And I'm just gonna head out and see how far I can get using just the throttle. So let's go. So just doing a quick stop here on the journey. You can see kind of right behind me, that's Pilot Butte again. And I just lost the first bar. So if you want to look and you can see it just went back up, but it, it just dropped down at about 7.5. So sometimes I've noticed that when you're riding this thing, a bar will drop off, but if you stop for long enough, it'll go back up. But uh, I'm going to call it about 7.5 for the first bar. So let's keep riding and we'll see how far we get until the second bar. So quick stop here, number two, I'm over by the canals and I just lost the second bar. So if you look onto here, it just goes, it always goes back up, but this bar just dropped down. I'm at 13.2. So got a little further. The other thing I noticed too when I was doing the pedal assist range test is that each progressive bar gives you a little less miles. So something to consider. So as the battery loses energy, the battery bars don't give you quite as much. So let's keep going and see where the next one takes us. If you're liking this video, please give it a like, give it a big thumbs up, looks like that. Really appreciate that. And if you want more tests on e-bikes and just, or know how to fix your own e-bike, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I also really appreciate that. Let's keep on riding. So just stopping again, just lost the next bar. But of course I stopped, so the bar went back up. But I can show you, we're at 17.2 miles. And this little, this third bar just disappeared. But sometimes when you stop, it goes back up. My hair is going nuts, a little windy out here. But let's keep on riding and see how far we get for the next bar. So stopping just one more time, I just lost the fourth bar. And you can see, of course, since I stopped, it just went back up one. But this bar was just down a little bit and I'm at 20 miles. And since I already did this test with uh, the pedal assist, I know that once you get down to that last bar, you don't have very far to go. So luckily I'm almost back and I'll just keep going and see how far it goes. I'll probably throw this over to the chest mount and just go down into the end. As these batteries get really low, uh, the power definitely depletes. So I can show you how that happens and we'll see how it uh, 
affects the throttle. Let's go. The last little bar just started blinking and I'm at 20.7. So when the last bar goes down with the throttle, I mean, I, you have a, about a mile to go. Let's see, it's still giving some juice right now, but not much. I mean, the total wattage it's putting out is a, right around 400. And the last little energy bar is just blinking away. So I'm almost at 21 miles. I don't have too much further to go, thankfully. And it is not going very fast. So it's still giving some power to the motor, but it's not much. I would say for all practical purposes, I'm right about at 21 miles. So 21 miles, you're gonna wanna get to where you need to get. <laughs> There's a slight hill right here and it's barely going up it. So not too shabby. I've still got a little ways to go to get back. So I'm gonna pedal with it now. But I'm gonna call the range test 21 miles with just the throttle. And I weigh about 220. And I have maybe 10 pounds of gear with me. And this test, there's a little bit of wind, but it's not, not horrible. I'm kind of heading into the wind right now. That's why it's kind of windier. But I did a little bit of hills, mostly on-road, some off-road, not too bad. If you want to watch the video that has the range test with pedal assist also, mostly just pedal assist two and three, I'll leave that in the corner right up here. Thanks again for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And if you like more tests like this, or just if you're considering getting a rad, subscribe to the channel and I'll keep doing more repair videos on how to take care of your rad and more tests on just what this thing can do. See you in the next one.